Cleveland, the birthplace of one of the greatest superheroes ever, Superman, created by Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster as just teenagers in their high school class right here in Cleveland, Ohio. Today, we are here to explore their journey with the help of Cleveland Public Library and their display of the Superman collection, mostly provided by Mike Curtis, who is an avid collector of Superman memorabilia. We were privileged to speak with a major coordinator of the exhibit, Mrs. Amy Dawson, who told us a little more about the exhibit and how it came to be. I decided to uh, uh, exhibit some Superman material in honor of a collector named Mike Curtis. He's the Eisner Award winning author of the Dick Tracy comic. And he had a huge Superman collection which he donated to the library. So that exhibit of his material uh, covers three floors here at the library. Oh, okay. So, so um, did he approach you all with it? He did, he did actually through um, the Siegel and Schuster Society which mm -hmm. is an organization here in We really are, want to honor the uh, creation of Superman from here in Cleveland. Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster, who um, went to Glenville High School, did come to the library to do some work when they were creating Superman. So we really wanted to sort of honor the library's participation and to honor Cleveland and Superman itself. Uh, some of your favorite pieces of the collection? Well, right behind us, Sydney, is a typewriter that was owned by Jerry Siegel and the typewriter that was used to create some of the Superman stories. So that's really fun to see. Really cool. Yeah, we have a, a Jerry Siegel's desk that was donated by his daughter, Laura. We have a large painting created by H.J. Ward, which is a, pu a pulp art artist from the 30s um, that's downstairs. It's never been exhibited um, in public before, so that's really cool, too. Oh, that is really, yeah. really cool. We also have a telephone booth in case anybody wants to come oh, and yeah, sort of do a little Superman imitation. Do you have anything that you can talk about as far as the connections with Superman and social injustice? So we're really very concerned about that. And if you really examine Action Comics number one, which is the first Superman comic, it really talks a lot about um, issues of, of social justice and poverty and, and um, just fighting crime that is sort of at that lower level. It's not really about uh, people and, and trying to eliminate poverty, helping women, domestic violence, all those issues. All those issues are in Action Comics number one, and that's sort of the... The, the birth of, of Superman sort of talks about social justice. And we do have an area in the exhibit downstairs that looks at some of the newer comics that, that um, deal with some of the social justice issues as well that feature some of the uh, current comics that talk about gender issues and yeah. social justice as well. And Cleveland Public Library did a wonderful job displaying the true legacy of Superman and what it meant for people when created, also what it means for people now the first modern superhero created right here in Cleveland, Ohio.